Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and today I uh, do a blooming update for the month of September. And I'm filming this on Saturday, so it's for you guys now yesterday. But um, So I could upload this one uh, at uh, Sunday the 12th of September. And that is my birthday. So I thought I'm going to do a, a video with uh, hopefully teeny tiny little gifts and uh, uh, by little gifts I mean uh, beautiful blooms. So uh, I found it uh, suited and I'm starting here with my Nelly Eiler, you probably uh, recognized it and I'm uh, lucky enough that this one has two beautiful spikes and actually quite some blooms on it. This is the, yeah, this is the second time for this one that I have to uh, head it to re-bloom but uh, as you can see, quite some blooms. So for Nelly Eiler, I'm uh, very happy with these uh, results. So now we're going heading over to these guys. I forget these uh, quite often, but these are my jewel orchids. I have uh, three of them. One I uh, really need to uh, repot, and I thought it didn't do so well. I have some uh, dying off leaves, but luckily we have a new growth here as well. So it's uh, doing okay, but uh, focus on the blooms. I'm sorry, I did get a little bit sidetracked there, but uh, these are my jewel orchids and they are currently in flower, as you can see. And I, I like them, but I don't need more jewel orchids, to be honest. Um, yeah, I really prefer the other orchids because I like the blooms a bit better. But um, yeah, I think we all need a few <laughs> dual orchids. And um, they didn't do so well, but they're starting to uh, grow again, luckily. And uh, really putting, uh, especially this one, is putting out quite some spikes. So that's beautiful, of course. So let's head over to this side of the greenhouse. And we still have here the sunset. These are not my own blooms. I bought it in bloom, but still, it's beautiful. But next to it... We have that beautiful purple one, and I need to grab the tag. It's a Begara Mora Pacific Dreams Renensis Violet. Um, so that's a mouthful, but it's a beautiful uh, orchid with beautiful purple blooms with a uh, bit of a, a red maroony color, I think, on the, on the lip. Let's show it from this side so you can see. It has quite a lot of blooms. Beautiful big blooms. And it's currently working on the, on the, a few buds and this, this spike. So I will have five spikes if I'm correct. Yes. So that's beautiful. This one is a... Yeah, I really, really, really like it. Beautiful colors. Deep, rich colors. Then we have, this is a first time bloomer, it opened up yesterday, let's turn that one around, I'm sorry, but otherwise you can not see it, look at this, isn't this beautiful, funny thing is it's still working probably on the, <laughs> on the spike, but it's not progressing, so I don't know if it ever will, but uh, this is Bialara. Alessiera Havanian Nights. Here's the tag. And I bought it as a, a very young plant. But this is the first bloom and also the first uh, for me. No, it's not the first for the fl um, plant itself. It had a flower spike there as well. But for me it's the first time. But it's a very and kind of large flower. If you can compare it with my hands. It's a very large flower. So that's beautiful. Then we go over to this side. Just notice that this one is starting to open up. It's a no idea. So if you recognize it, let's turn it around very slowly. And I try to get it. It's a very beautiful dark red orchid with, uh, with some yellow in. And the fragrance it was my favorite, so I can uh, compare it again, but the fragrance is really fantastic. It's very sweet, rosy fragrance, but a very, yeah, very kind of strong, but very uh, lovely in my, uh, in my opinion. 
then we have this zygote. I'm sorry for the backlight, I tried to turn it a little bit. This flower is going over. These are still uh, kind of okay. It's my golden bay. Yeah, golden bay. So that's beautiful. Then we have this one still in bloom. Beautiful orange, a rusty one, rusty colored one. And that is my, oh, I keep forgetting the names, I'm sorry. Inferno. Will, Wilsonara Inferno. I hope you can see it, but it's the uh, Inferno. Like I said. Then the Starbuck is still working on a six spike for this year. And it did separate the spikes a little bit. I mean, by separating it, didn't bloom uh, them all at once. So uh, it's probably of almost uh, blooming all year round now. So that's kind of nice. It's a very uh, beautiful argot. And here have we, we have my no idea. This one I recently did a video about because of the leaves. It has a virus, but and I hope I did cut off. A lot of enough uh, leaves to uh, get the virus out, but still some beautiful blooms. Very nice shape, if you ask me. Then we have still a Miltonia. This one is also going over. You see the brown spots there, but it's still in bloom. And I have one here. Also, it has its, it had its longest time here, I think, but it's still uh, still blooming. And right above that one, we have the Altmar. I do think it's a Colmenara Altmar. It just uh, did eat this spike and then it uh, opened and made this one. Also, a beautiful dark red, purpley color. And this is also kind of beautiful. It's starting to open up the first bloom. It's my other uh, Nelly Eiler. And it's, it has, has a, uh, a branch. Quite a lot of uh, buds on this one as well. Plus a secondary spike there. So yeah, I think they are getting quite happy, my nearly others. Kind of hard to grow them, but once they go and you keep uh, the reservoir at a good level of pH and parts per million wise, they, uh, they seem to like it. So uh, the self-watering setup. So this is what blooming uh, is blooming in my orchid uh, room, and we uh, will get some more. This is a first rebloom as well, that will be in the uh, next update. So let's have a look in the in the greenhouse. And let's start with the dendrobium. It's now opened up all of its blooms, and these are already uh, going. It's not not this one is not long in bloom. Two three weeks, I think. But these guys are still uh, okay. Beautiful blooms, a very nice honey-like fragrance on them. And then we have some new fells. It started to bloom some uh, older ones. This one is also beautiful. It's a very nice cluster of uh, red blooms. And I think I have an idea for this one. Let me grab the tag. Phaleopsis. Jing Xing Smart, I think it is. Ting, Ting Xing Smart. I know that Miss Arcade Girl has this one as well. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful Arcade. It has a uh, soft fragrance to it as well. And right above we have one that has a uh, more stronger fragrance. And you see the uh, marks of the aphids that I still, uh, and the thrips that I still currently have, but. I see a little less of them, luckily, with the treatment, but this is my Leodoro. And we have some other beautiful fells still blooming. Some no idea spotted ones there. With a yellow, beautiful yellow. Then we have two spikes very close to one another from two different plants, but this is the Jaguar. Very, very long spike on this one as well, as you can see, this is the, uh, the plant. Next to it we have the the hot kiss, something hot kiss, Xing hot kiss. That is the, uh, this is the uh, mother plant. 
and also the biggest spike ever so far and branches as you can see and this is a uh, big lip orchid I think you recognize it I see it uh, quite often in videos and then there we have the Morocco as you can see that one uh, has uh, some thrips on so therefore the blooms do not look so like uh, so nice <laughs> And here we have a um, little Phenoliopsis, and it just opened a first bloom on a secondary spike for this year. A mini fail, that was the word. This one has still this beautiful color, but also some marks from uh, thrips, as has this one, this orange one, but this one has also two spikes opened up uh, around the same time so that's very nice then we have this appellant scrush I can't, can't remember but I cannot get a tag because it's very high there but uh, then next to it we have a fell as you can see with two spikes coming from the same side of the plant so it's a bit strange and no another no ID pink one and we have this beautiful yellow one which I have a tag for, it's a Fal Meili Sogo. This is the Meili Sogo. And here and there, as you can see, we got quite some blooms coming. And there we have another spy, two spikes. And here you guys, well there we have a pink one. It's a Linetta, Fenoliopsis Linetta. And this is a no ID, but I bought it because of the size of the blooms. This is really, it's crazy. <laughs> Look how big they are. I hope it shows up. In comparison to that one, it's it's a bit further away, yes. And it's, but this one has kind of large bloom as well. But this is really crazy. I found it at the IKEA. Can you believe it? But uh, at first I thought that maybe it were the hormones. But uh, this is the first rebloom, and still those blooms are are gigantic. I think it's even a bit bigger than when I bought it. It's a very happy fell beautiful uh, very big plant as well with lots of aerial roots going on there so yeah I'm really happy with there uh, with this one let's go this side then we have my golden peacock it's now going over this one had a lot of insects on it I use this one as an example for the new treatment that I use it's uh, based on one of the last videos of Roger so in time I will make my uh, my own video about it. I have a little bit of different brands, but if you want to know which treatment, you should go over to his um, channel. This is the Keiki of the Dendrobium with beautiful blooms. Chrysanthemum dendro Dendrobium Chrysanthemum Orange type. Did it set on a label? We have some Candleia blooms coming. And we also have my first rebloom of a Sibidium. I only have one. I had Sibidiums in the past and I did give them away because they are very large. But this is a gift and a yellow one and I, it's really special because I, uh, like I said, it's a gift. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. It's uh, it's going to rebloom. Okay, let's go over this side and look at this, how beautiful. They are opened at the same time again. Three blooms on my Psychopsis. Butterfly. This is beautiful, uh, if you ask me, of course, <laughs> but kind of, yeah, large blooms. And the Alba, the yellow variety, is next to it and has, at the moment, one bloom open and one bud is almost uh, starting to open up. But this is the yellow uh, version of the Psychopsis. And next to it we have an Indigo. Phenoliopsis here, so a very rich deep color. And this is my freebie from Lux Orchid, and it has a tag. This is a uh, this is the tag. Celebs C cross with Ying's Belina Queen, and I did leave the flower spike on, and it's decided to open up the blooms. They're very beautiful, I think. My camera has a bit difficulty with uh, getting the colors right, it's a bit too bright as far as I can see now, but it's a very uh, 
there's a red in it, purple, a bit of yellow in that lip, pink, beautiful. I'm very happy with that uh, freebie. So let's head over to this side of the greenhouse. Let me turn this fan off to uh, reduce the noise. Well, well, let's start up with my Katarina Sock. And this one is also covered in aphids, sadly, but it was in bloom for quite a long time. A really strong fragrance. I think this is the orchid with the strongest fragrance that I have. Then the uh, next to it will be the Sherry Baby, but this one is uh, even stronger than Sherry Baby. Katharina Sock, if you ask me. My yellow twinkle is starting up with the uh, first blooms. Opening up the first blooms. And next to it, this one is also starting to open up. No aphids on it, luckily. But not open yet. But this is. This is called a red dog. But these are uh, going over. Normally they are a bit brighter color wise. My dancing lady. Some older blooms. Let's take them off. But still some uh, fresh blooms. Kind of fresh. And underneath that one we have still some blooms on my Sotowarum. Beautiful one. And a beautiful fragrance if you ask me. Bit soapy, but uh, very nice. My Blue Happiness, Dendrobium Fenleopsis Blue Happiness is in bloom. Beautiful blooms. And next to is my Peprata. Just opened up yesterday all the blooms. They almost opened up at the same day. Beautiful. This is one of my favorites. And one of the oldest in my newest collection. I started re uh, Recreating my collection, I don't know if I can <laughs> put it like that, but uh, about three years ago, this was, was the first, one of the first that I did part again. Because I couldn't live without my orchids, <laughs> so I did part them again. Here we have the uh, Dendrobium Pink Splash. Dendrobium Phenoliopsis Pink Splash, that's the name. This is a fairly fresh spike. We have some buds open, to open there, and it has another one here. And it has two older spikes here, as you can see. But also, you see those black dots? Those, well, yeah, we have some alive aphids there again. And the black ones are dead, so I have to spray this one again. It's so sad, they keep coming back. So, some eggs i think will survive the spray but once you spray them they are dying off quite quickly so i need to spray that snow date is next to that and that one is making a new spike as well so that's nice this these two spikes are finally from the uh, dendrobium uh, pink splash that's a good bloomer always this is still in bloom as well Puff 58 and Robium something Puff 58. <laughs> Let me see, I have the tag here. Oh, it uh, says Dendrobium Puff 58 Yellow Fragrance. So it's not a very fancy name, but it's a beautiful, fancy orchid. <laughs> That's beautiful shaped flowers. I'm really happy with this one. And a slight fragrance, yes. Not strong, but slightly fragrant. Next to it, it's a giant look at this one that came. It's crazy. Also a Dendrobium Phenoliopsis. I don't know uh, which one, it's not in bloom, but I think it will. But it's currently <laughs> still growing on its, uh, working on its cane, so. Polar Fire is here, still in bloom. Some blooms are going over now, but it is, uh, was in bloom for quite a long time. Then on the upper shelf, it is going over, but this is the uh, Red Doll, Sherry Baby Red Doll. I try to... Beautiful blooms, I'm sorry, it will not get in focus as I wanted it, but 
and next to it we have that big family offices again so beautiful because of the size color is okay it's not uh, very fancy color wise but the shape the size and this should be my Flavsense Flavsense but it's mislabeled as you uh, can see because it's more like a Moriana that's okay as well but I already have two of them but now I have another one <laughs> but this one is beautiful flower wise so no problemo and in one of my last unboxings I did get myself a new Flavsent and this is a first time bloomer for me it's a very uh, new orchid one in, in my un unboxings as well this is the tag Bloom tea crossed with Morleana. Well, you can see that Morleana back to it. This is the uh, one of the seed parents of this one. Well, it has almost the same color. The shape is a little bit different, and it has another bloom here. Next to it, we have also a very beautiful one. First time bloomer for me as well. It's the Cloesiae. Now opened up a second bloom this this uh, morning. Beautiful shaped one. I really like the uh, Meltonia. I see Meltonia as well. But um, here I have my Peter Kamp back in bloom. This plant is uh, struggling. It has another uh, spike coming up, but it's getting there again. So you can see, it's putting out quite some roots. So the flowers are not, not that very big. And deep colored yet, but it, it will be uh, will be back again, I think. Um, above that we have my one of my other Morianas variety royalty. Then I think the sea breeze. It had eight or ten spikes, quite a lot of them. Still has some blooms, but it's they are going over now. As you can see, we have quite a lot of blooms in the back there as well. Underneath that one we have this beautiful pastel colored almost white one. It has a beautiful starts opening up with this purple color on the lip. Beautiful. It's a cross from uh, the Ringonia Ostieri Alba. It's an Alba version. I like the uh, Albas. Not all of them, but yeah, these Slight tinges of color I personally like. And then there in the back we have my Bartley Swartz White. Coming in full bloom. This spike is opened up completely. Then we have another spike there that is opening up. And one spike coming there as well. So at least three spikes. Beautiful. We have this purple one still. There's some nice flowers on and as has this red one beautiful one as well very very big plants let me give you a idea of the both of them and underneath that we have my Ragnelli eye you can see a lot of blooms are going over now but still some Fresh blooms as well, and a very fresh one here, as you can see on the colors. It's not a big spike. There and one there. That brings us to a total of 20 spikes. So quite a lot of them. It's a very big plant as well. Beautiful. One of the favorites, absolutely. And then we have this beauty here. This is the... Odontobrasia billabong alba and it has a beautiful spike with those spidery flowers on it beautiful let me see if, I, if it has a fragrance slightly when you put a nose in it you can have that floral not spectacular but still a bit of fragrance there so, and uh, let me check. Yeah, I think we have them all now. We have, yes, we covered these guys. This one I just sprayed again. 
if it, but it has no blooms. Soon it will. But yeah, this is the uh, blooming update for uh, my birthday. So I will. Um, I'm currently also baking a apple pie. Um, so I'm going to enjoy that and now after uh, uploading this video. If I'm yes, it will be tomorrow. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I will have a, a beautiful day, I think, with uh, friends and family, and uh, yeah, we're going to uh, enjoy the day. Thank you guys for watching this. As usual, if you have any questions, please let them, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for watching, and of course, I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye!